YouTube, what's up with it? It's Envy Closet Med Grower. You see it, we're back for yet another garden update. It's been, what, about three weeks since my last one? Something like that, I figured I'd come back in here, show you guys what's going on, show you guys my overgrown deep water culture, killing it. And show you guys uh, my other big old plant. Eh, it's so-so, but coming into flush. So, uh, yeah. With all that being said, let's get right into it. So, pretty stoked about this one. This obviously is my 5x5 tent, my urban greenhouse deep water culture, HLG 550V2 lighting, Blue Planet nutrients, and let's get into the plants themselves. Ghost OG, Ghost OG, LA OG, and Space Dust. See if we can get a few close-ups of some of these here. Ghost OG is stacking up nicely, gonna give me some really good colas. There's no way around that. These plants are on day 28, I believe, today. Looking good though, starting to pr promote a little bit of trichome coverage and really, really nice stacking. That's, I think, what I'm most excited about here is the uh, stacking on the ghosts. That's going to give me a decent yield for an OG over here. And those two. Let's move it over this way. We can talk about the LA OG. LA OG got a little more stretch than the ghost, but is beautiful structured still. Still a lot of trichome coverage. Can't complain. Oops, leaf in the way. I wanted to focus back there. So yeah, everything has been getting hit a little hard in nutrients. I am just a touch nitrogen toxic right now. But at the same time, I was starting to get a little bit of potassium deficiency. You can see in the outer part of the leaves, like on that leaf I was just grabbing. So I upped some of my PK boosters while lowering down my overall concentration to minimize some of the ratio of nitrogen. And uh, yeah, that's what I got going on here. Now last and most certainly not least, let's talk about this space dust. You see, she just stretched like crazy to the very top light level I can. A Little bit nitrogen toxic, especially up there where it's out of the light levels. Look at this stalk of it right here. This shit was literally grown damn near into the light. But look at the trichomes, man. Tons and tons of trichomes for four weeks into flower. So yeah, I purposely was trying to like bend that thing back down, like stay back. <laughs> but see that tall stalk, that stalk, those three right there, that one in the back, and a couple more are uh, space dust. This one and this one and this one are not though. Those ones are LA that stretched way over there. So yeah, overall, pretty amazing work, man. I'm really, really happy with how my garden's coming along. You can see I got a damn thick canopy. I did clean up underneath a little bit so I can get some airflow down there, but probably not as much as I should because my canopy is pretty thick. But you know, it is what it is. I'll either pull a double harvest where I harvest the top layer and then go through, let the rest mature for a week and then harvest the bottom, or I'll just have a lot of extract material off the bottom. Either case, I'm definitely going to get a really nice production out of this tent this run and uh, the HLG 550 is killing it for my first flower run under the new LED so can't complain, can't complain one bit. Yeah I think that's about it, not a whole lot else to be talking about. I keep my water temp at about 68. I actually have my chiller set at 66. I just put water in there so it says 71 right now as it's still chilling but it stays, maintains about 68 in the reservoirs and uh, yeah, I'm just happy. I'm happy with this whole setup. I'm happy with how things are going and uh, Blue Planet Nutrients always works well in my deep water culture. I've also been using, on top of that, I've been using Hygrozyme. I've been using ResClear. I've been using this white bottle stuff. Hormones. No, that's a MB Ferts vitamin and hormone booster. It's a B vitamin and hormone additive for natural hormones. And what else have I been using in there? 
Oh, a little bit of terpenes. Try to see how terpenes will work out for me this round. So, yeah. Deep water culture is doing a great fucking job. Let's move it over and talk about the 4x4 now. Because, well, eh, it's doing all right, but at least it's got some nice big buds in here. You can see buds were starting to get a little deficient last week due to a multitude of reasons. Root zone was just off in general, pH and minerals. So it got partially flushed out and fixed. And then this past week, I actually just went through and did the full flush on this. So the root zone's nice and clean now. It's been flushing for like five or six days. I think I'm gonna bring it, I gotta go another eight days. I'm on day 50, what am I on, 57? Yeah, and I wanna bring it at least 63, so a minimum of six days, maximum of nine days, and I'm gonna chop this down. I do still have a little bit of white hairs on here, and I got quite a few necrotic leaves, though, and I just kinda am hoping I can time this up to finish it right that I don't get too much necrosis into the buds. So, it is what it is. Not everybody runs perfect, and this was far from a perfect run. Let me turn off that light so we can get a little better color. So yeah, overall not a whole lot to be said though. It's in a number 10 pot, fabric burner pot by Spring Pots. I got a big reservoir here that's just shooting water on it twice a day actually. Two minutes when the lights first turn on and then one minute about an hour or two before the lights turn off and uh, just to make sure it stays fed. Overall, it's working though. Like, I, it's obviously not a great grow by any means, but I bet I still get a half pound of harvestable flower out the top. I'll get a lot of bullshit fluff from little crap like this that I'm going to be able to extract. So, but overall, yeah, kind of a horrible grow. But let's face it, I had a lot of factors going wrong for me. I had an oversized mother that uh, wasn't the healthiest to begin with when I went into flower. The root zone was already somewhat root bound before I even flipped a flower and that's why I gotta feed twice a day just to make sure this thing don't uh, dry out on me. And honestly, I should have done this more as a micro fertigation like four or five times a day for one minute a piece and it would probably work even better. But yeah, so I've been super restricted on the root zone. And then on top of that, my own fault i just didn't go through and do my maintenance flushes in early and mid flower like i should have and i let the root zone get way too strong i measured it well above 2000 parts per million in the root zone itself and it was out of balance which started to give deficiencies and by the time i corrected it i was already in late flower and there wasn't a whole lot of correction i could do so even though things did get a little bit healthier and started to fatten up like starting to get a little bit of bud size on things the leaves and canopy still were just not that healthy. They didn't stretch up into position. The lower canopy didn't fill out at all. It is what it is. I, I will take the L. There's no way around it. At least I'll take the L with a half pound of decent buds. So, can't complain too much, I guess. And I think that's about it for the plants. I haven't really been messing with veg lately and we're gonna stay out of there again today. I will say I'm getting ready to start this one back up for the winter. You can see I cleaned it out. Need to get another fan because I'm using the fan from it over there, but. Single-ended 315. A lot of you guys haven't seen these bulbs before. Or dual-ended 315, sorry. Cool stuff. So. With that being said, the only other thing we have to do is thank our sponsors. So I think I'm going to switch off and do that right now. We'll start off North Genetics. You guys already know, if you're looking for seeds, definitely go hit up NorthGenetics.com. When they have seed drops available, I can get you discount codes using Closet MG. Um, yeah, good stuff. Space Dust in the back corner is North Genetics. My three-time cup winner, Beyond Dream, is North Genetics. Dreamberry is North Genetics. I try to keep about half my garden North Genetics. They'd be killing it. So that's a good thing to think of. My Urban Greenhouse, deep water culture. You see my foresight, my Urban Greenhouse setup right here. Awesome. Upper manifold sprayers. I did modify and add a six port commercial air pump to it and a chiller to make things run a little over time, but the unit just as is will work. And uh, yeah, pretty badass equipment. So if you're looking for one of those, go to myurbangreenhouse.com, closet MG, you'll get, I believe, 15% off 
all hydro systems on their website. So pretty cool situation. After that, I say we move it on to Horticulture Lighting Group. Horticulture Lighting Group's the LED company I've been messing with lately and they do an incredible job. It also turns out that I'm a distributor for these lights, so if you're looking for the prepackaged units like the HLG 300 or the HLG 550, please go visit my website, nvcmg.com, and we will hook you up with those. If you're looking for the DIY kits, though, I don't sell anything or have anything to do with the DIY kits, so you might want to go visit horticulturalightinggroup.com. They definitely have more information on their site than is on my site about all of their units, and they even have DIY panels and kits to get you going if you want to build your own lights. So, quantum boards, man, doing their thing. You see it, 480 watts at the wall, and it's blowing up a whole 5x5 five five like that. So, can't complain. I believe the only other sponsor I got is TopShelfLight.com. I haven't been using their product as much lately. Well, I have in Veg. It's in there. Dual Lux 600. And uh, yeah, it's a decent light. Obviously, not a problem. I've been working with TopShelfLight.com for a long time. I also deal with some of their affiliate companies like Grower's Choice, Wavelength Optical. And uh, it's a good company, good group of people overall. So if you're looking for any products LED wise, TopShelfLight.com. If you're looking for Grower's Choice products, go to FactoryHydro.com and uh, yet again use the discount code CLOSETMG to get discounts at all those sites. Okay guys, that's it. We talked about plants. We talked about sponsors. My chiller's still working awesome. And uh, I think it's time to go smoke. I got some pretty good uh, rosin to smoke on. So uh, yeah, I say we switch over that direction and do that now. Nuggets. All right, ready to smoke, man. Let's get into it. We got all sorts of good smoking to get on with today. I'm actually gonna be smoking on some hash rosin. I only got a little bit left, but it's kind of a fun story. I actually took this hash rosin and, uh, or the material I made this hash rosin with is material from my garden over like the last two years that I just never got around to running. It was fresh frozen material, I trimmed off the buds, put in my freezer and never touched. So inside this hash rosin I know there's some ghost OG, I know there's some sour patch kiss, I know there's some Jamaican sativa, I know there's some beyond dream, and I think at least one more strain that was unlabeled. Oh, so my, I had a little bit of mixed trim from my auto flowers and I had a little bit of mixed trim from my last spring outdoor crop, which was Beyond Dream and uh, um, Beyond Dream and Smurfberry. So yeah, flavors are all over the place, but this shit tastes delicious and it's pretty good fucking quality. So we're gonna get faded. Should look at it one more time. My rig's a little dirty, but you know how we do it. We're gonna rip this bitch anyways. You guys ready? Well, like normal, I got a couple close-ups, so as soon as this torch starts hitting, I'm gonna show you guys some close-ups. Don't mind the noise. So as you can see, it's decent butter type, or butter consistency. Uh, it turned out pretty awesome. It buttered up after about two days after I pressed it. The hash itself actually turned out in really good shape. Unfortunately, I think it's in my fridge out in the garage. So I can't show you the actual hash, but it was about four star quality, like low quality melting grade as is. So pretty dope shit. My fat ass glass recycler, it's a little dirty, but thing chugs like a champ. So yeah, let me get a nice fat dab out here so I can take a nice fat dab with you. So my, uh, ooh, that one is fat. Fuck it, we're gonna do it. Focus, focus over here. There you go. So either case, my uh, channel hit over 50,000 subscribers last week. I'm actually at 50,400. Shit, I got it right in front of me. I'm sitting at a computer. 50,491 right now. So you guys definitely kick ass. It's always good interacting with the community and having fun with you guys. And with that being said, mixed hash rosin, really high grade rosin, crazy material though. Cheers.
Awesome. Ooh, that's perfect temp too. Very little left in there. Delicious, man. Well, with that note, I'm sufficiently faded. One dab will do you. Good shit. So, until next time, man, we're gonna have to go walk through the garden and get the hell out of here. But for all 50,491 of you, plus whoever joined this week, much love to you guys as well. I will see you all soon. Let's do one more walk through the garden and get the hell out of here. Peace. All right, so that's our smoke sesh for today. Do our one last little walk through. You guys can take a quick look at the plants. Man, I am still, the stretch on the space dust is crazy. That plant was a hair smaller than the three OGs before it went into flower here. You see the top stalks on it just fucking shot up. Stretched for a week longer than the others. But yeah, let's get the hell out of here, man. Much love, much blessings to all you guys. Hope everyone's having a wonderful week in the garden. Hope everything is going well for all y'all. And uh, it's time for me to go. So unfortunately, I will see you guys next time. See you at the next garden update. Much love, much blessings. Talk to y'all again soon. Peace. For more NB Plaza Med Grower content, click on the videos to the left, check out my website, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you all for watching.